Rosho still in the Thunderdome for the time being, and it was the Memorial Day edition of the show, and uh, it was a Raw show. It was just that. Um, it was pretty much everything you would expect from a Raw show right now. Um, the big thing was a uh, new announcer, Jimmy Smith, replacing Adnan Verk. And I've, I've seen people, like, rave about him. But let me tell you something. If you're raving about him, that is one low bar. Because well, Dave, the bar is low. That is one low bar. <laughs> That is one low bar because, I mean, he, he is better than Adnan Verk without a doubt. Yes, I, I would not rave about him, but he was better than Adnan Verk, which is, in fact, a very low bar. That's a low that's a low comparison. But, I mean, I the mean, one thing I noticed more than anything else was his his role is to be the lead announcer, and it was very clear, like, the first two minutes into the show, that they just pretty much figured, like, nobody has a role here. We're just all going to be... The lead announcer. Well, 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 the, well, the deal is is, is um, Corey Graves basically is carrying all of them, um, which I mean, actually, like that sounds like terrible, but it is. It wasn't terrible, but um, and he's he's been doing that actually for months now. In, in, you know, in yeah. So why just put this guy in the lead role position, and then who cares what the who the analyst is? Well, he's just there to you know do the intros and everything with lead role. But it, the thing with the thing with him is is that. He's got like the the Vince thing of um what a move and it's called oh my god because it's like that's his crutch because he he did know some moves which was more than Adnan Verk but he didn't know most and of course he didn't really know any history but the thing with the thing with me that was so obvious because I've been watching him for uh you know 11 years um I think yeah 11 11 years and it's so obvious I mean it was obvious within 5 minutes of watching that he's not himself. He is trying to play what Vince wants. And so, I mean, it's like Jimmy Smith, as an announcer, um, if left to his own devices and not being, you know, j just doing it, and occasionally in certain spots with the an analysis where you could kind of compare it to a fight because he's really quite good at analyzing a fight, in those moments... He was good. Yes, when Shayna was going after the leg of uh, Reginald, I mean, that was like the one thing I noticed during the show was like, okay, this guy can explain how you're working over a leg and how something attacks the knee and it can also uh, affect the ankle. And he, he was good at that point. But 90% of his stuff was, what does a wrestling announcer say? And it was just being really, um, uh, I guess I would call fake. You know what I mean? It was just like, I'm, what am I supposed to, it was like not, an announcer needs to be smooth at what they're doing, and he's out there trying to be something that he's not, um, and that is talk, basically talk WWE speak, and and not just WWE speak, I mean, there's, there's some of that, not really as much as the other announcers, because he's not quite up to speed on WWE speak, but what he thinks professional wrestling announcing should be which is exactly what every other company's professionally professional wrestling announcers don't do like um because it's just it, it's how he was in doctor don't be doing this like you would call a fight so he's not but that's actually when he actually does that that is the one thing that he's going to be good at because that's what he knows that's what he's been doing his whole life so there were moments that he was fine and even good in certain type of matches but in you know up and down the show it was Corey graves carrying him is what it was i mean he didn't really know what was going you know what was going on at any kind of a real level or of to to either analyze or to call moves or to you know anything so you know Corey graves just got aggressive as you know as he's been and you know kind of works Corey graves is a little bit of play-by-play -play and a little bit of color and basically he's carrying the show so um Jimmy was there. He wasn't like he wasn't bad, bad. He just didn't add much except in those, you know, in the Shayna Baszler match and I think in one of the other matches where he would, was where they kind of did stuff that related to what you would do in a real fight and there's very little of that in WWE. But when they did do that, you know, that was something that okay, he's he's at least got that which Adnan Verk didn't have any of that. So 
I mean, people are raving about him because the other guy was so bad, but it was like he was not good. I mean, he he wasn't offensive, but it's like he didn't impart anything except in a couple of spots, and the rest of it was just, um, you know, oh, my God, oh, my God, when he didn't recognize something, which was most of what was going on. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.